overall, uh, this will change the system because the bail will be eliminated. Cash bail will be eliminated. So in essence, the defendant will either be held in custody until they go to trial or they'll be released. Um, that's not really the problem. It's not the, it's not the elimination of the cash bail. It's how severely, uh, how it severely limits a judge's discretion and who a judge can hold, even when that person is cl clearly a danger to the community. And that's, um, that's the scary proposition about this. And that's the part of it that's screaming out for some amendment. I literally murdered a 13 year old, somebody who ain't do nothing to y'all. Somebody who was just doing a dance, talking to somebody on the phone. And she didn't even know it was coming. 19 year old Alvin Perry and 19 year old Rayshon Colvin are charged with attempted first degree murder and other felonies. In October, Perry was arrested and charged with attempted armed robbery. The Madison County State's attorney argued he should not have been released, but he was. Perry was released without bail because of Illinois' new Safety Act law. The Safety Act was meant to make the criminal justice system more fair, including abolishing cash bail. So it's, you know, it's really. It's, tragic and it's really you know frustrating to know uh, that because of the safety act that this person was out you know was was not in custody and was out still committing crimes at just 13 years old Rania Stewart embodied the innocence and exuberance of youth like many girls her age she found joy in laughter socializing and the allure of social media but above all, her passion lay in dancing and crafting TikToks, where her talent shone brightly. Nia, as she was affectionately known, was not just the it girl. She radiated sweetness, love, and compassion in every interaction. Tragically, this vibrant and carefree soul would soon become a victim, struck down by someone known to her family. Welcome to the American Crime Femicide Channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button for future video uploads. On February 3rd, Rania found herself at a relative's house, innocent and unsuspecting. Unaware of the looming danger, she ventured onto the porch to film a TikTok dance video. Little did she know, a former friend turned rival had orchestrated a sinister plan with five others to target a male family member residing in the same household. As Stewart danced, the tranquility shattered by the deafening sound of gunfire. Tragically, she was struck in the head by a fatal bullet. Paramedics raced to the scene, desperately trying to save her life. Now the Alton community is coming together, praying for a 13-year-old girl who was shot in the head. Renaya Stewart has been in the hospital since Saturday, and we're told tonight she's holding on. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. The Madison County prosecuting attorney says Stewart was not the intended target. Our Justina Cornell is live tonight in Alton, where a vigil is about to begin. Justina. Yeah, that's about to begin in just a few minutes. Already a crowd behind me here. Now, this is all happening in front of the home where it happened on Saturday afternoon. The organizers tell me they hope these prayers can help lift this family. Renaya. We're going to be calling out that name a lot on tonight. Calling out her name and calling for a miracle. A 13-year-old girl fighting for her life, and she wasn't even the target. She was just outside being a 13-year-old. This tragedy happened in Alder woman Rosie Brown's ward. The last report I got is that R Renaya is holding on. She said Renaya Stewart is from Allen, and she was at a family member's house Saturday standing on the porch when a bullet struck her in the head. This community, everybody know everybody. So much so, she even recognizes one of the suspected shooters, 19-year-old Alvin Perry III. Her son knows him from high school. But when I found that out, he played basketball. He had a good mentor. I'm like, what went wrong? This is his friend. And I'm like, what could I have done? You know, what could the community have done? Perry, along with 19-year-old Rayshawn Colvin, are accused of multiple charges, including attempted first-degree murder. My biggest question is, how are these children getting these guns? To bring comfort, Brown partnered with the community advocate, Missy Johnson, to host a prayer vigil. This, this is home to, like, a lot of love, not violence. The two are calling on the community for a commitment to bring peace through the power of prayer. Our Alton comes together, and we are with this family. We are here for Renaya. And we are Renaya Strong in Alton. Alton is going to always be here for her from this point on. 
We're told the Madison County prosecutor is seeking pretrial detention for the suspects, which means that they would be held in jail until trial. Nia fought for her life in the ICU for 10 agonizing days. Ultimately, her injuries proved insurmountable, and she succumbed to the brutality of the violence inflicted upon her. Unity is grieving the loss of an innocent 13-year-old girl. Renaya Stewart was on a home's front porch when a bullet hit her in the head. The seventh grader had been in the hospital for days, and this morning we learned the tragic news that she had died. Our Justina Cornell has been following this case and is live in Alton. Justina. I spoke to two people who knew Renaya well. They said they'll always remember her for her big personality and her bigger smile. She's only 13. She still had years to find out what she wanted to be in life. She still, she had so many things to learn. Peaceful Miller is just two years older than her 13-year-old cousin, Renaya Stewart. The two were close, constantly dancing and taking pictures. She's very fun to talk to. She's very goofy. She can't believe her cousin, so full of life, is now gone. Y'all literally murdered a 13-year-old. Somebody who ain't do nothing to y'all. Somebody who was just doing a dance, talking to somebody on the phone. And she didn't even know it was coming. Miller said Renaya was on the porch when a bullet hit her in the head. Now five people are charged with first degree murder. The all in community came together to use the power of prayer. Renaya was in the hospital on life support and more than a week later, she died. She touched my heart. She, we were close. Former teacher assistant Alexandra Kodros knew the seventh grader well. She was definitely free spirited, beautiful, very intelligent. She believes the crime should create change. I hope that as a community that we can take our pain and turn it into action here and really try to hit hard on gun violence and get some things rolling to make some changes. The two say they'll remember Renaya for her spark. That's something that can never be dimmed. Her smile. Even though she might be mad sometimes, she still finds a way to smile. Renaya was a girl who spoke with so much excitement in her eyes, and I just hope that where she's at now is everything and more than here. Two 16-year-old Alton youths were charged with Stewart's murder. Dakota M. Perry, 16, and Vito C. Crowder, 16, face charges including first-degree murder and aggravated unlawful use of weapons. Charges against Keith A. Sanders, 24, Alvin Perry III, 19, and Rayshawn M. Colvin, 19, were amended to include first-degree murder. All three were previously charged with first-degree attempted murder. According to court documents, Sanders had told the juveniles a rival was at a specific location and that they would bring firearms to attempt an armed robbery, shoot at, or attempt to scare the rival faction of individuals. He then drove the juveniles from the scene after the shooting and brought them back to his residence. Court documents stated Perry had driven two individuals to Long Street and dropped them off with the intent that they would discharge a firearm at two other people. Sanders, Colvin, and Alvin Perry were in custody, while Crowder and Dakota Perry were still at large as of February 14. The case highlights concerns about the abolition of cash bail in Illinois, as Perry had been released under the Safety Act despite objections from the state attorney's office. Questions are also being raised about one of two charged with shooting a 13-year-old girl Saturday in Alton. She's just enjoying time out, outdoors on the porch and then this tragedy struck her. 19-year-old Alvin Perry and 19-year-old Rayshawn Colvin are charged with attempted first-degree murder and other felonies. In October, Perry was arrested and charged with attempted armed robbery. The Madison County State's attorney argued he should not have been released, but he was. Perry was released without bail because of Illinois' new Safety Act law. The Safety Act was meant to make the criminal justice system more fair, including abolishing cash bail. So it's, you know, it's really, it's, tragic and it's really you know frustrating to know uh, that because of the safety act that this person was out you know was was not in custody and was out still committing crimes as the two youths continue to evade capture investigators swiftly pieced together the heartbreaking events of this tragedy now a poignant reality sets in an innocent 13 year old has lost her life She's just the daughter I always wanted. I wouldn't change nothing about her. The father of Renaya Stewart had been by his daughter's hospital bedside the past 11 days. 
he expected the 13-year-old who was full of life to someday become a dancer. She was daddy crazy. You know, I miss that. Like, I miss my little girl calling me, Dad, where you at? All right, I'm ready. In fact, we know that grief is a long road. And we don't, we don't aim to understand how each person in this family feels right now. Uh, but we, we stand with them. We sit with them as they grieve. We just figure out some, some new normals down the road. And God, we know this, uh, that like this family, you very much love Renaya. And we're grateful for that and we find peace in that. We thank you for her beautiful life. And we thank you that you gave her those years to be with this family, be a part of this community, all of her friends that are mourning. And we thank you for just the beauty of life. And we're reminded tonight just how fragile it is. How quickly it comes and goes, and uh, Father, may we may we not take anything for granted with the lives you've given us. So, Father, we lift this family up to you. Would you just be with Rodney and everyone gathered here, and would you be their peace? Would you be their comfort as they walk through these next few difficult days? As her grieving family grapples with the daunting task of organizing her funeral, a GoFundMe has been launched to alleviate the burden of burial expenses. In the face of such profound tragedy, let us unite in solidarity to offer our support and prayers for Raniya Stewart's loved ones. May she find solace and eternal peace.